Telephone captioning services enable millions of hearing impaired people to talk by phone, but they can also be a direct line for phone scammers to reach the hearing impaired. And as a Bay Area family found out, captioning operators are required by law to type out every single word a caller says, even if it's a scammer swindling someone with a disability. ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra has their story. Without CapTel, she never would have been able to hear the caller. She never would have un understood them and she never would have been scammed. Donna Badgett is still trying to understand why a telephone captioning service meant to help her mom also help somebody scam her. I mean, I feel horrible because her hearing has been bad. So I bought it for her for a Christmas gift, thinking I was doing her a favor. Her 83 year old mother, Judith, got the call one morning on her CapTel phone. Her grandson was in jail. Was she posting bail? Judith had heard about grandma scams, but words on the screen made it seem real. She wouldn't have been fronted without it. The caller claimed to be a lawyer trying to get DUI charges reduced. The CapTel operator silently typed every word the scammer said. If you can post bail quickly, I can make sure it's a misdemeanor and not a felony, but you need to act quickly. Can you get to your money today? What bank do you go to? He looked it up and he's like, oh, they open at 10 o'clock. Judith asked about her grandson. The operator typed the reply. He's a bit embarrassed and wants to keep this between you guys. He did suffer minor injuries. The airbag broke his nose. They gave him five stitches. The CapTel operator typed out every word of the scammer's instructions. Are you back from the bank? Did you get the cash? Did you get the envelopes? The scammer said, get a 9 by 12 manila envelope. You're going to put the envelope from the bank in the middle of two magazines, and then you're going to place it in the manila envelope like you're making a sandwich. A courier would pick up the money and quote, the driver doesn't know anything about the case. He's like an Uber driver. Leave me on the line and head outside, ask his name, give him the package. My mom put the phone down, went outside, delivered the money, and then he called back like an hour and a half later. Oh, I have bad news. The woman that was in the car with him was pregnant. She lost the baby. The scammer wanted more money from Judith, supposedly for the woman's medical expenses. You need to go get more envelopes, go back to the bank, get the cash. After the fact, the family got the call log and could see every word the scammer said. I read a couple the first time. I mean, it's just so disheartening. Donna was furious the CapTel operators did not try to stop the scam, and she says effectively assisted in a crime. I mean, they are transcribing fraudulent calls. They enabled her to get scammed. But the CapTel company, Hamilton Relay Services, says federal law makes it illegal for transcribers to intervene in any call, even if it's a scam. The operators must serve as, quote, invisible conduits without censoring, altering, or interfering in any way with personal and private communications. FCC rules and the Americans with Disabilities Act require that captioning services provide the same rights of privacy afforded to hearing phone users who expect no one is listening in on their calls. I said, can't you even say, you know, please note, we think this is a scam. Donna can't believe it was illegal for the company to notify her that her mom was being swindled or even to stop typing the scammer's instructions. I think things have to change. The FCC has to make these changes, like have an emergency contact on the account or alert the local police. Online forms among caption operators show some disagreement about their role. Should they have discretion to intervene in troubling calls? Where would they draw the line? What if a caller was threatening physical violence? Right now, the law says they may not step out of their invisible role. If you have served as a transcriber for the hearing impaired, we'd like to hear from you. For 7 on Your Side, I'm Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.